today we are going to see uh, how to set up a primary and secondary lines via IV pump. Okay. First, check practitioner's orders, perform hand hygiene. Identify patient by using two identifiers, name and date of birth. Okay. Introduce self and explain the procedure and the medication information. Okay. Uh, obtain the correct type and amount of IV piggyback solution. Draw up the amount of medication needed. Clean the area where you are going to introduce the medication, properly discard the waste and inject the appropriate amount of medication into the piggyback bag. Remove and use the safety device on the needle and discard this appropriately in the shop container and immediately label the medication bag. Attach the IV tubing to the primary bag. As soon as you remove the tubing from the package, close the clamp. And attach it to the primary back. Then hang this onto the IV pole and prime the tubing. making sure no air is left in the tubing. Then attach this to the pump. When you are attaching, make sure that the blue cap goes on the top of the channel and the square blue and white goes into the blue section of the pump. So I say it blue to blue. And you will have to hear this clicking noise when you attach it. Once you attach it, you hold the channel door and press to close the pump and I would leave this loop hanging that way it does not hang on the floor. Attach the appropriate tubing to the IV piggyback. It is the same when you remove 
the secondary tubing, you have two uh, items in the bag. So one item is a hanger. As soon as you remove it from the package, make sure you put this hanger on to the IV pole and bring the primary bag and hang it on to the hook. And now what you have to do is close this clamp and attach this tubing to the IV piggyback. Now you can attach this to the pole, any area of the pole. And you, you can prime this tubing the same way you prime the primary tubing and open this clamp gently for priming. Follow the line of the fluid. Make sure you do not waste any medication while you are priming. Once you see a tiny drop in the hub of this tube, close the clamp and keep it ready. So now we are going to add both the tubings, attach it to the, the secondary tubing to the primary. Always make sure you are going to attach it all the way to the top of the clave. Before attaching clean, using 10 to 15 seconds with the alcohol pad and attach the secondary tubing to the primary tubing. So now the pump is ready. So I will not start the pump yet because the pump is going to be continuously alarming that we are not taking any action. So come to the patient side and now prepare the patient's IV for connecting the IV. So now we are going to prepare the patient's IV site for connecting. Um, now wear Dawn Clean gloves. Assess IV site for phlebitis, infiltration, or pain. Okay, the, I don't see any, right? And now I am going to scrub this IV site with alcohol for again 15 seconds. And I am going to prepare my flush. I'm going to expel the air from the flush. And inject the patient's IV with 5 ml of normal saline. Remove the gloves. Discard. Okay. And hygiene. 
Now connect the IV tubing to the patient's IVs, IV arm. Before connecting, once again clean the blue clave for the patient. Now connect the tubing. This is connected and now I am going to go set the IV primary as well as the piggyback. Okay, I got an order, as I checked my order, the patient is getting 50 ml of primary fluid, normal saline infusing and I am going to give this antibiotic at 200 ml an hour. First, to start you will have to check where the system on button is and start the IV pump by pressing the system on. Once you see th that the pump is on, you just have to follow what the pump is guiding you. So it's asking you to confirm, so I confirm. It's asking whether it's a new patient or is a patient existing patient. So I am going to say the patient was existing patient and I am going to say no to the question it's asking whether it's a new patient. So I put no and now it's giving me options to select which channel I have to select. So I have channel A, you see it here, that is what has come up here. So I am going to sel select the channel and how do I select the channel? I use this channel select button which is right here and I am going to select it. I have selected the channel and the question is asking over here is primary infusion. So I am going to put as I already said from the doctor's order that the primary infusion is normal saline running at 50 ml an hour and the volume to be infused is 500 ml. So I am going to first put in my rate. Okay, I'm going to press the rate over here and I'm going to put 50 ml as my rate and then I'm going down to the next button to select volume to be infused and I'm going to put in 500 in the primary fluid infusion rate and volume to be infused. And then I am going to also put in information about the secondary uh, line that is my IV piggyback. So I have to search at the bottom where it says secondary um, area. So I am going to click on that to select my secondary information. And so now it's asking me to put the rate which I already calculated. I'm going to give infuse at a rate of 200. And how much of volume to be infused? It's 100 ml. So I'm selecting VTBI and I'm going to put 100 ml into the VTBI. So now primary and secondary is ready. I am going to, before hitting the start button, which is here, I'm going to open the clamps for both the tubings. And then I hit the start button over here and I have to make sure that the secondary tubing or secondary uh, bag is infusing. So you look at the drops dripping from the secondary, okay? And make sure that you label the IV tubings, the secondary tubing as well as the primary, okay, sorry, as well as the prim primary tubing with the date, appropriate date, okay? And make sure that the patient is tolerating the medication well. Now, I am going to perform hand hygiene again, okay? And I'm going to document this in the MAR and 
intake and output column. And um, so this brings us to the end of our uh, use of IV pump for a patient.